When I was a little girl, the importance of girl time was never really a thought. And I had girlfriends, and when you're a kid, your girlfriends are your friends that you talk to and complain about or complain to, but you don't ever really sit back and think about the girly things that you can do to nourish a friendship. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. I got to spend some lovely times with some beautiful girlfriends of mine while we shared high tea with each other. There's a misconception about high tea. It is said to be a very high fashion, high fancy experience, but the origins are very humble beginnings. High tea was a meal enjoyed by the working class and we got to do that this week. For the longest, I've brushed off the importance of spending quality time with my girlfriends. I thought self-care was all about bubble baths and face masks, but the journey through life really takes a toll on you. And I've come to the realization of true self-care is about nurturing your connections with others as well. There's something profoundly therapeutic about girl time, especially when it's accompanied by the elegance and charm of a high tea gathering. Why not dress up, get all dolled up, wear your cutesy little lace gloves, and touch this beautiful china and have fragrant tea blends and tears of delectable treats, all shared by the company of your cherished friends. High tea is not only about indulging in beautiful treats, but also fostering in connections that are meaningful and engaging in heartfelt conversations, offering support and uplifting one another. In those moments, I'm very vulnerable and I feel like I can open up and I'm surrounded by the warmth of my friendships and the comfort of a well-brewed tea. Ever since I've embraced my friendships with my girlfriends and even my male friends, I've opened up the courage to express myself about my struggles, knowing that people will listen and just love you and support you no matter what. I feel like that is very important for our self-care. The friends that you choose to surround yourself with will have a profound impact on your thoughts, your beliefs, and your actions. A lot of the times, friends do see the way of the world and approach things in their own way, and that can also help you in your journey through your own life. But this is not just about friendships and how they shape us as individuals. It's also about how they contribute to the fabric of our community the world has been a little bit divided and disconnected lately and friendships do have the power to bridge those gaps and building bridges and understanding empathy and compassion really reminds me that we're all human with high hopes and dreams and fears i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye